Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, this is going to be my second video of the night. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while now and uh, just have not gotten around to it. And uh, have a pretty busy week ahead of me so I figured uh, I would just do it tonight when I had a chance. And um, one of my favorite types of videos, maybe my most favorite type of video that people make and post are videos where they show how they display their cards. And uh, man, some of you just have some incredible card rooms and displays and uh, framed pieces. And, uh, you know, um, pretty much my entire collection <laughs> fits in this one piece of furniture. Um, so this is how I display my cards and, um, you know, hope to kind of branch out. I'm standing in my office uh, in my house where I film most of my videos, actually. But um my entire collection fits in this one piece of furniture, and I guess, you know, part of uh, collecting pre-war cards, at least for me anyway, uh, is that uh, my collection is relatively small. Um, and, uh, alright, let's get a little closer and I'll show you how I have this stuff displayed. Actually, for a while, I had taken everything out of this uh, piece of furniture because I didn't have any uh, covers on these windows, uh, on these doors, and... Um, even though there's no direct sunlight, I was concerned that over time the cards were going to fade. Um, this piece of furniture is something I bought at an antique store about seven or eight years ago. And it actually has a light built into it. I don't keep that light on. Um, again, for concern over uh, the cards fading over time. Um, so moving a little closer. Probably need to find a better way to display this stuff, but I have my Bobby Orr um, autograph picture up there. Signed uh, Celtics basketball, and in that binder on top there, I actually have some uh, um, tobacco cards that are not baseball cards, uh, pre-war tobacco cards, other than baseball cards. So I'm gonna do another video and show you those uh, sometime. Um, I apologize for the glare. There's so many cards facing in different directions that I don't think there's any way to avoid it. But um, on the top shelf here. Uh, right now I have uh, a couple Tris speakers over there. There's a Mordecai Brown uh, standard caramel. And I, I very frequently kind of change the way I have the stuff displayed and rotate stuff in and out. Uh, I'm not going to go over every item in here. Most of these have been in other videos, but there's my Nuff Said McGreevy uh, photo. There, of course, is my Piedmont tobacco sign that's the background for most of my videos, or all of my videos. Um, a couple of T206s or T205 Tris speaker. And moving down here, right now I have the best cards in my collection um, kind of together on this shelf here. Um, there's my Babe Ruth, a couple Ty Cobbs. There's my dog barking in the background. Um, so like I said, I, you know, frequently kind of move stuff around and rotate stuff in and out. Um, there's a kind of like assorted pre-war cards. Here's some, a few of my favorite items. There's my uh, Ted Williams rookie card. My awesome uh, Ted Williams brand shotgun shell that Giuseppe once sent me. Uh, Ted Williams uh, fishing guide, fishing tips. There's my uh, 1904 Red Sox. Program and scorecard. Continuing down. Mostly, uh, possibly all Red Sox on this shelf here. Uh, Lefty Grove there. That glare is terrible. Um, you know, I have actually way too much stuff jammed in here, and it, uh, some of these items deserve to be displayed better than they are. Um, so I need to find a better way to do that. Uh, there's a uh, Wheaties, the back of a 1939 Wheaties box with the uh, Casey at the bat uh, poem on it. And continuing further down here, have some 50s cards here. Uh, some random Yaz cards in the back there. Some, some of my Ted Williams 59 Fleer set. Um, this glare is horrendous. Um, here I have, uh, these are just cards that are kind of like out of the rotation right now. Um, 
showed some of these in a recent video. And, uh, some of these I have not showed as a Bowman Lou Boudreau, 51 Bowman. Um, and uh, continuing down here, there's some autographed baseballs that I've showed here. Uh, this box here I have uh, when the Patriots won their first Super Bowl, I flew up to Boston and there's confetti from the parade. Um, here we have uh, some random Celtics cards. There's a Bob, my Bob Cousy rookie card. And uh, this is just a box of kind of random stuff. Um, some 50s Red Sox stuff in here, 70s, 71. John Dobson is a pitching coach uh, that uh, my friend's son goes to, Bobby Doerr. Um, and uh, at some point I'm going to go th through this box and do a video on uh, the cards that are in this box, Jim Rice, rookie. There's some decent stuff in here. 59 Frank Robinson. Some team sets back here. 74 Red Sox team set. There's a 67 Yaz that uh, did not meet the minimum size requirement for PSA. Um, and here's two items that I actually uh, will probably discuss eventually in one of my videos. This is a black light. And um, especially for pre-war cards, this is important. I take this to shows. Um, the card stock used in pre-war cards does not fluoresce. Um, so this is good. It helps anyway to know if a card has been altered. Um, this is a little uh, magnifier. It's an illuminated magnifier that I got on Amazon. I also take to shows. Lights up and it has a little 10 power magnifier, 20 and 30 power. Um, Helps with looking at, you know, smaller flaws on cars. I paid about 15 bucks for this. I would recommend this for pretty much any collector. Um, random Sports Illustrateds. Um, there's a Sports Illustrator from the day I was born. Some random Red Sox programs. Uh, from the 70s. Uh, anyhow. This uh, it's like an ammo box that I got from Cabela's. Um, if I want to move my collection around, I can pretty much fit almost my entire collection in that box. So I guess that's one advantage of having a smaller collection. Um, but anyhow, I hope to expand um, the display in this room. Um, I have a lot of room behind me that I'm not going to show right now, but... Uh, could potentially, you know, frame some of these things and hang them up. Uh, one last view of uh, my favorite shelf at the moment. And that's it. That uh, That's my card display. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Please comment uh, if you have any suggestions, recommendations on how I could display these, these things better. Uh, I would love to hear it. Um, Thanks for watching. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.